Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm uh, Jean-Flix Lepage. I'm VP of Projects at, uh, at O3 Mining. Uh, so I'll present you our company uh, and the value uh, proposition that, that we have. Um, so O3 was uh, created in 2019 as a spin out of Cisco Mining uh, with two, uh, two main assets in hands. Uh, one was uh, the Marban Alliance project, the one we've been focusing since then. And the other one was the Garrison project that we divest to uh, monitor, uh, and we still own that uh, that investment uh, in in our pocket. Um, and uh, we're we our vision uh, since the beginning has been to become producer uh, with the Marban Alliance project. Uh, we uh, we're at 150 million market cap right now. Um, Cisco Mining still own 21% of the company, uh, good representation of institutional in our share, shareholder base, uh, and uh, seven analysts covering the, the company. Uh, we just recently raised uh, 18.5 million back in November, and, and then we're now fully funded for, uh, for until uh, 24. So where we are focusing right now since the, uh, the inception is the Valdor Malartic area, uh, we have our our main asset, uh, Marban, right here. So that's uh, 10 kilometers away from Canadian Malartic. Uh, it's a really great camp with uh, a lot of mining uh, activities. Kina mine from uh, West Dome. There's a gold X operation from Magnico, a Lamac operation from El Dorado. So, and here's the other uh, exploration asset that we own called uh, Alpha. <clears throat> So since 2019, we've been able to grow the resource at Marban from 1.7 million ounces to 2.9. Uh, and we also delivered two uh, technical studies, one in 2020 at PEA and a 2022 uh, pre-feasibility study. So we have a closer look on Marban. Uh, so it's an open pit gold, uh, two area of mining included in the PFS. First one, Marban. The second one is Colonel Arctic. Uh, again, you can see the proximity with the uh, the footprint here of Canadian Malartic. Uh, all the infrastructure in place as well, the road, rail, and, and power line crossing the project. Um, <clears throat> since the, uh, the the PFS, we've been able to add a new pit. We uh, we published our first resource on that pit uh, last summer, and we're in the process to uh, infill uh, through a 30,000 meters campaign uh, this winter. Um, so PFS was based on a standalone project, uh, all the infrastructure, tailings, uh, mill, uh, mining infrastructures. Uh, so 10 years of 160,000 ounces, uh, 435 million capex for NPV of 463. So that was a project uh, in 2022. Uh, so what what can what we did since then is to try to. Uh, First, increase the uh, the life of mine uh, through, as I said, the the, the new pit, but also some uh, engineering improvement uh, with the pit walls and uh, some uh, pocket of inferred resource in pit that we've been uh, that we drilled already. So, um, so now what our expectation with that project is first to uh, to bring that from 10 years to uh, at least. 12, and depending on the trade-off of the pit walls, uh, bring that to either decrease the strip ratio or increase uh, furthermore the uh, the life of mine. Also, we have a great opportunity in the area for uh, for tool milling. So, uh, if we're to uh, use tool milling instead of building everything, that will uh, help uh, reducing the capex for 435 to uh, closer to 200 uh, to 220 million. Um, for sure, uh, using tool milling will increase the OPEX. Uh, we'll need to uh, to truck, and there will be some fee attached to it. Uh, but uh, we uh, we're pretty certain we can maintain the NPV, but with the lower capex, uh, that will uh, certainly help uh, increase the RR uh, profitability ratio, but also de-risk the, the project to uh, through uh, construction. Uh, we've been able. Uh, we've been also active on permitting, uh, initiating the uh, the permit on both provincial and and federal level, um, <clears throat> and now we're adding uh, to the feasibility study in uh, 2024. We're expecting to kick off in uh, in Q2, but in the meantime, we're uh, working on a PEA to reset the project on that toll, toll milling uh, scenario, and we will be able to show that in the Q2 this year. 
So here you can see the, the new pit. So new pit is uh, 340,000 ounces of one gram, similar strip ratio than the rest of the projects. They also bring uh, additional optionality in the sequencing of the different pits um, and also uh, will help us uh, to uh, accelerate the ramp up. Um, toll milling also the other impact that can bring to uh, is to uh, if we're early access to the mill can really decrease the uh, time uh, needed for uh, for construction. <clears throat> so on top of the, uh, the the main project and de-risking and and adding ounces to uh, through the feasibility study, we're still upside uh, in the exploration. Uh, so last year we split the main, so it used to be a, the, the large Marban property. We did split that, that property in two. First in blue, that's really where the uh, mining project is happening. And the rest of is now called the Horizon property, where we have three uh, main targets. Uh, the first one at the bottom here called the Ludovic area, uh, some significant uh, uh, intercept uh, historical intercept, but also uh, more recent uh, anomalies from uh, geochemical surveys. So we're planning to drill 3,000 meters of uh, exploration drilling in that area uh, this winter. Uh, the second one is uh, continue to uh, follow the structure that uh, bears the, uh, the Marban and, and the other area that we have. So that's the same structure that holds as well the West Dome Kina operation. So they, that continue to, uh, to the Northwest. And the latest, the, uh, the target that really gets the geologists excited, that's a new uh, VMS potential. So we know that VMS are present in the uh, ABTB Green Soul Belt, so La Ronde Mine or the Louvicor Mine, for the one who, who, who knows that one. So that area haven't uh, been tested by anybody in the past. Uh, it's been uh, discovered through showings, through uh, field exploration. So now we have uh, two, two showings and we did did two first drill holes late in the summer that confirm a uh, axialite uh, horizon. So now we need to, uh, and through a VTEM survey that we did around the, the horizon, we know that it's prospective towards the Northwest. So we'll continue to uh, work on, on that VMS potential uh, with uh, in-hole uh, geophysics and uh, continue to uh, be systematic in the, into the, that exploration potential. So uh, just to summarize everything, so we are uh, in adding to the feasibility study uh, with, uh, with, with adding years to the project and also exploring uh, different opportunities to significantly reduce the capex and uh, make things easier to get to, uh, to production. And we're keeping uh, uh, all the opportunity uh, open to uh, optimize our portfolio of, of, uh, of investment and uh, properties to, uh, to help us grow a Marban. Thank you.